Hi, this is Chris Harkins with Power Creative. I'm taking a few minutes to show off some examples using the new Max to After Effects interoperability feature uh, with state sets. Now, there's a whole lot you can do with the new state sets, but I'm only going to be showing off one particular facet, uh, basically bringing in the helper objects or just points to use with After Effects, replacing text or graphics or what have you. Uh, for a motion graphics feel. So a uh, particular project I had some time ago, a client needed about two dozen graphs, 3D graphs, animate in, all fancy like, and uh, we add text with a motion graphics treatment um, on top of that for header, text at the bottom, and, and some numbers on the side. So I've, I've got this these bars animated in, and these helper objects to kind of signify where I wanted text to be for the header, the numbers on the side, and whatnot. So to bring this over in, into After Effects, we open up the State Sets window, select all the objects that you want to move over into After Effects. Uh, in this case, just the helpers and the, uh, the camera. Hit Record, Stop Record, so it automatically adds these nodes. And as you can see, I've, uh, I've named these nodes so that I can better identify them in After Effects. So now at this point, um, you can open up your Compositor link, which if it's not open already, you just go Compositor, Compositor link, create a link. Now within After Effects, we just go File, Open Compositor link, select the link, and everything loads in. Now, as you can see, the helpers are here. Uh, and you can see they all have uh, keyframes on them for position, scale, and rotation, which is really cool. You can animate it in Max, and it carries all that information over to After Effects. Uh, I've also pre rendered the passes uh, for my bars, uh, text, or pre comps, footage, whatever you want to add. Uh, it's very easy. You just create your item. And what I've been doing is just copy and paste over the uh, uh, the position. But first, you got to make it a 3D layer. Paste it, and it scales obviously off a little bit. Scale it down. You can even copy over rotation or just do it by hand. And as you can see, oh, we've got to parent it to whatever helper that you want uh, it to follow. And th that's really cool is that it'll follow all the keyframes that you have from Max. And now we have our text moving through 3D space. So this is the final treatment. As you can see, uh, month at the bottom here is animated in. I have text on the side animated in. I even added a little backdrop uh, behind the bars for that more uh, graph feel. And then the header slides down on top and then an alternate version with uh, different graphs or uh, different bars, different colors and number um, and just a different text treatment on that so it's it's very flexible you can change the font color, the font kerning um, how the font animates in add pictures or anything else uh, one cool feature is that if say one of these nulls um, you wanted to change in 3D space but wanted to do it from After Effects, you can change those keyframes or uh, the position scaler, what have you, and from that same import dialog uh, you can update the link. Then back in Max you uh, you update from link and it'll bring in uh, bring over the changes from After Effects that you make. So something like this can really save a lot of time uh, when and if the client has changes to make. You don't have to go back into Max and render all of that out, change all those keyframes or whatever else. You can do it quickly and easily within After Effects. Uh, and besides, you know, the particular project might need that particular style. So in this particular example, uh, I have a Nitrous Viewport preview that I uh, captured out. Um, but basically it's just a move through the city with a car, uh, car driving down the road erratically and uh, we can get some nice shadows and some lights coming off of the car hitting the, the building. Uh, but same deal as before, 
I have a layer with all of my helper objects and you'll want to open up your state sets and uh, in this case we're only kicking out a capture so I'll do that uh, separately but you could kick out different states for diffuse, um, ambient occlusion, certain lights, anything that you want but we select our helpers including this uh, car helper that's actually animated on a path down the road and select the camera and create link so now with the link created we can go back into After Effects open compositor link load that link in and you can see all of the nodes in 3D space with that car zigzagging down through the center. So with the preview loaded in, uh, I've got a final product here for uh, brevity. As you can see that knoll is following the car and I added a layer of skull and crossbones following that car down the road. Um, the actual layer is parented to that knoll so it follows its position and its rotation. And uh, this billboard up here I decided to add uh, a new billboard which is just a pre-comp animated which animates on I added a uh, call out to this building in the bottom left so it just scales and rotates up and tracks to the building the whole time added some text to the top of this building that animates in using uh, After Effects preset animation for text just kind of builds on added a street sign that animates out as the car drives past kinda swings out and then a bullseye in the middle of the road and the interesting thing about this is I overlaid it so that it kind of interacts with the lighting uh, as the car moves on top it lights up and then it just kinda drives over top of it but all of this stuff uh, tracks perfectly and you can either just copy over the keyframe from the helper or position it uh, and use those helpers as guidance um, but things like this really save a lot of time and I've not encountered many issues with it at all uh, it's pretty straightforward overall a really cool feature to have and uh, I foresee using it quite often